is this really the truth? Does this portray what the people are saying? We are about to watch a video and it is a video of young children and what they are saying about Peter Obi. In fact, what they are asking for about Peter Obi, their lamentation will shock you. Welcome once again to this channel. If you are just coming across it, tap on the subscription button and the red notification icon bell below to alert you whenever videos are dropped. Without further ado, let us watch this video and we will talk about it, we will analyze it as we do. Let's get right into it. Jesus, come down from heaven. Angels, come down from heaven. God, come down from heaven and help us. We cannot do it without you. Enough is enough for this something. We don't want to suffer again. See now, I'm a small boy. I'm crying for you. I'm leaning down for you. Jesus, please help me to be with Let our future be bright. Let our life <laughs> Welcome back. Now, there are mixed reactions about that video that you have watched. There are people who believe that these are just, you know, jokers that some grown up people set up young children, manipulated them, and made them, you know, act in a certain way. And they started recording it to put it out on social media, hoping that Peter will be or one, you know, cloud chaser or one business person, probably those who have clubs, maybe Obi Kubana or any of those people, or someone will just take this viral video, hijack it, tag himself on it and say, you know what? I'm going to gift that child 100,000. I'm going to give that child 100 million naira, 50 million naira. I'm going to pay the education of that child from the beginning to the end. They will make this commitment and put it out on social media. And they know that as long as this video trends, their name will also trend with it. We understand how these things work. Now, either they are cloud chasing, as long as they do what they claim they will do, everyone is okay with it. This is what people are saying out there. Now, there are people who say, or who are saying that this is for real. These children, they are fighting for their future, knowing fully well what is on ground. They've been told or they believe or they've seen that Peter Obi is the man that will take them to the next level. They've been told that insecurity lack, joblessness, and the issues that surround their life. Probably their parents told them or they observed it themselves. Don't think that children, um, some children are not smart. Some of them are able to see around themselves. You see? So they are saying these children, these children, they know what they are saying. They know what is happening around them and they believe that Peter Obi will take them to this next level that they hope for. Peter Obi will, you know, upgrade their lives. But like I said, this are just what people are saying. Nobody is sure what it is. But now let us leave all of this alone. Let us face the reality. Are we going to go through hardship for the next eight years? I think that is a question on the lips of a lot of people, on the minds of a lot of people. Apart from the rigged election, the didn't rig election. Is there going to be a turnaround in Nigeria? Now there are some people who have spoken clearly and they have made it clear. They said that if you think any of these three presidential candidates will take Nigeria to the next level, you are joking, you're fooling yourself. And I try to listen more to what these speakers are saying. I try to listen to, in fact, one of them is Abel Tamina. He's a pastor. He said none of these candidates will take Nigeria, not even Peter Obi. And I looked at it deeply and I realized that it will take a lot of effort from Peter Obi. That is if the legislators will allow him to do 
what he wants to do. That is if he even means well. Now, having looked at it and looked at what Abel Tabina is trying to say, he is simply saying that there are certain things that needs to be put in place. And I'm like, well, the, 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 the masses can actually push for this, but we know that um, the position of the president in Nigeria is so powerful that he can do a lot. So if Peter B steps in there, he needs to demonstrate some form of tyrancy to put an end to certain you know, criminal activities or to even put things right. For example, he talked about down cutting the legislators, you know, the money they take and all of that. He talked about it and I knew that certain people want to fight against it because these governors that end up becoming senators, you know, that is their barrier ground. Um, most of them, you know, most of them, they won't work against Peter Obi. They don't want that. They want to continue to earn while they are still collecting pension as ex-governors. We know all of these things. So it's going to be a very, very difficult thing for him to become president. But should let's just hope that whoever steps in there is able to do the right thing. That is hope. Hope is what people are working on now. We are not sure. Will Peter Obi do the right thing? We, we, will we should already do the right thing if he steps in there? Because we don't have that structure on ground that will push out whoever commits crime. It is supposed to be action and punishment. Action and punishment. Action and punishment. Once you go against the rule of law, once you act improper, once you lose, you steal, you should be punished. That is what it's supposed to be. But from the executive down to the legislator, down to the police officer on the street, the sergeant, the corporal, in the army, major, generals, down to that person selling something across the street. Corruption, wickedness lives inside of them and they demonstrate it every now and then. Now look at those children. Let us assume this is true. Look at them. They will never forget. They will never forget. Is it true? They will never forget. They will grow up remembering that an election took place and there is this talk about rigging. An election took place and there is a man that they felt or believed or hoped would become the president, but he didn't become the president. Let us say if Bola Metunubu would turn things around or turn the tide around and do excellently because a lot of people are looking onto him, believing that he's going to mess Nigeria up. It might shock them differently, even though there are some pastors who are saying, God told them that there's going to be a lack, there's going to be hunger, there's going to be death, there's going to be bloodshed, there's going to be every bad thing that you can think of. And, uh, you know, Nigerians are saying, no, God forbid, this is not our own portion. What is your portion? Drop it in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and share this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel.